What's up, Tiger baseball fans? This is another segment of Around the Bases, and this is uh, your host, Big Al, and with me, as always, is my co-host, Corey Welsh. So what we're going to do for you tonight is we are going to recap the Clemson UVA baseball series from this past weekend. But first, if you like these segments, be sure to like the show. Be sure to follow the show on Facebook. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. That is very important. We want to be able to expand the brand and start the conversation. And the best way to do that is to like and subscribe on YouTube, like and follow on Facebook. All right, so we're going to get right into this, Corey. So uh, Clemson lost a series this weekend, lost two out of three to Virginia. Uh, it's a you know, we talked about this last week. It was a, or no, actually we didn't, me and Morgan did because you were not with us last week. Um, Virginia was not a very good team uh, it, on paper. You know, they had a, I think a sub 500 record, maybe 13 and 14, something like that. Uh, and six and 12 in the ACC, something. It was, it was not good. Um, it was a, uh, it was a team you had to beat basically. And especially at home, Clemson didn't, they started out well Friday night game. Didn't go very well after that. Kind of give us your thoughts uh, on the weekend. Yeah, I mean, first thing, and you've already touched on it a little bit already, is like out of all the series they've had so far this year, to me, this one was the most disappointing. Um, right. You know, you, you can't say they're going to go out and sweep. Like that's that's hard to do in baseball. But if you're you're at home against a team that even in the game, especially on Sunday, I think it kind of showed that Clemson had more talent. But, you know, that's how baseball goes sometimes. You know, not the most talented teams win, but, you know, one thing that really stuck out to me, and I'm sure you're going to expand on it a little bit more, is the situational hitting that, that didn't take place. Um, you know, and then there were some bullpen woes that, that we can, you know, circle back to here in a moment. But, you know, those, those are kind of the two main things right out of the gate that really stuck out to me. Yeah, for sure. And, I mean, look, you, you go into game one. I mean, Clemson's doing pretty good. Anglin looked great. Uh, you know, I, one thing that, that bothered me a little bit about game one is besides the fact that Anglin looked – Fantastic. I wish they would have put in a little bit lesser. I hate to say lesser, but a lesser reliever than Matt Clark uh, on Friday night. I, I thought we had a five to nothing lead. I thought it was a little bit too early to bring him in. And of course, in hindsight, he would have come in real handy on Sunday uh, instead of having to bring Gilbert in really early. It would have been nice to have Clark because they were you know, pretty much out of arms, it seemed like, or reliable arms at that point. Uh, so I, I really wish they would have brought in somebody other than Clark that was not. I, I wasn't real thrilled with that live, but hey, you know, he pitched pretty well. He gave up a run, I believe it was, but he pitched pretty well. They got the win, and you're thinking, hey, great start. Friday night win. You got to win the first one, okay? So, uh, And that's exactly what they did. I thought they looked pretty good. Parker and Hackenberg both had uh, great first games, you know, a couple RBIs apiece. I think uh, Kier and Henderson had one as well. Uh, so I think that – and, of course, they ended up winning that game 6-1. to one. Um, Game two, look, it, it was uh, another good day for the middle of the order offense-wise. You know, Parker, Grice, Hackenberg – all of them had an RBI. I think Meredith sprinkled one in there as well. So another another pretty good hitting day for the middle of the order. Um, two or more reliable relievers uh, did not have their greatest outings. Clayton and Rob Hughes uh, just didn't didn't have their stuff. They both gave up two earned runs, which is very atypical from them. Um, so it's it's kind of something that we need to work on. Uh, you know, the bullpen was supposed to be one of the biggest strengths of this team, as well as the starting pitching. To be honest with you, uh, if we go back to the to the beginning when we were talking about it. Um, so that's kind of been disappointing. You know, they've had their spurts. Clayton has had a couple of times where he's gotten kind yeah. of banged up. You know, Hughes as well. Uh, you're looking for those, you know, consistently dominant type guys. I mean, everybody is, right? That It'd be easy if everybody could do it, right? But it's it's kind of something that Clemson has been known for, and some of these guys have done it before. So it's kind of odd they're kind of up and down a little bit this year. Um, so that's something to kind of kind of look at. Game three, it was a great game. It was a good, it was a good baseball game. Hoffman pitched good again. Um, he gave up three earned runs, but if you really look at that game, if you watched the two-run homer that I saw uh, in, in the fourth, that, that ball never should have left the park. Uh, the wind gods were coming back. The karma was biting Clemson. It helped him one time with Parker's home run, I think it was, and uh, it, it came back to bite him this time. I don't know what kind of wind gusts picked that ball up and out of here, but I didn't think it was close when it came off the bat. I was not worried at all when that ball was hit, uh, and it ended up being two runs, and, of course, that ends up being you know the difference. Uh, in the long run there. So that was kind of tough, uh, but I thought Hoffman pitched really well. Um, so Gilbert came in, struggled in that game a little bit, albeit after a huge error that ended up with, you know, yeah, gave yeah. Up that's, three error. Error. that's that's tough, man. Uh, it, it's it's really bad that, that that happened that way. You know, we're just picking, we're picking the wrong times to make our errors and have a bad day, you know, on, in our bullpen. And that's just kind of unfortunate, but it's the way baseball goes. Um, but, you know, I really wish he would have been able to get out of that jam. He's not a long reliever. Uh, Gilbert is, um, but he's a guy that Clemson was counting on. They didn't have a lot of other reliable arms. They went with him. It didn't work out. 
Um, so Clemson ends up losing the game six to five, couldn't make the comeback happen, and lost the series. Uh, it was pretty tough. You have any other thoughts uh, on the weekend with Virginia? Yeah, and I was going to say the main thing too is you touched on Anglin's performance. I mean, that was what you've been wanting to see on a Friday night. You know, that's exact. That's exactly what you wanted. And then with Gilbert, you know, you kind of go back, back and forth, just kind of thinking a little strategy here. Like you go ahead on Friday, get Clark, gets gets the job done. You got that. You got that game. But what you eliminated there was not using Gilbert multiple times in a weekend, which we've kind of touched on where we feel like at times they kind of go to him a little too much. And it kind of set up to that perfect situation on um, on Sunday where he hasn't been used yet. So logically thinking you're right there, it's like, all right, we can hand it over to him and, and you know, kind of be the ball game right there. But you said that crucial error, you know, he still walked a couple of guys, you know, they oh, yeah. kind of self-inflicted and he'll tell you that too. But, and then three home runs on Saturday, I believe is what I saw, but, not many guys on base, you know. <laughs> I mean, exactly. solo home solo solo home runs do not hurt you. Like I think, kind of going back here, I think it was one year Kurt Schilling won the Cy Young. He gave up like twenty six home runs that year, but <laughs> a ridiculous number of them were, were solo shots. So you know, this, the it's it's the you know two to three run shots that, that kind of hurt you. But you know, hopefully, hopefully they can rebound. Um, but the bullpen is just you got to be d- deeper. I mean, you're you're playing in the ACC. The ultimate goal is to get to a regional, super regional in Omaha, and you can't do that with just, you know, two to three guys out of the bullpen. you, you got to have multiple guys that's got to step up. So There's no doubt. Uh, and hopefully they'll be able to develop that depth as the season goes on. I will certainly be pulling for them on our end. Look, uh, that's it for this segment right here. So what we're going to do next, we have another couple segments coming up. But uh, for now, make sure, again, that you like the show, follow the show on Facebook, like the show, and subscribe on YouTube. And we'll uh, we'll get you more content, great Clemson baseball content only coming up soon.